Jamie? Okay, Juan and Jamie, come up, please. Okay? All right, so very, very quickly, okay? Please come up here. You're not in trouble, guys, so it's okay. <laughs> At least not yet, right? <laughs> so I'm going to ask them one simple question, okay? And I want them to, to tell you what they've learned, I guess. You know, as you can see, we have younger couples, older couples, maybe couples that are halfway there, you know. Uh, some may be grandparents, some may not be grandparents, but at the end of the day, they've run the race. They know and they've experienced what marriage is all about, right? They've made their mistakes, they've learned a few things along the way. Great things have come along out of it, but I'm pretty sure that you're going to see a common theme after they've gone through many years of marriage, uh, you know, that they may have similar maybe responses or similar wisdom to share. Okay, so I'm going to ask the men if they had one word of advice to encourage husbands, okay, what would that advice be? And for the ladies, if you had one word of advice for the wives, what would that word be? Okay, we're going to start here with Willer. Come on, give it up for Willer. Woo! Okay, Willer. Yes. One word of advice. We have a microphone. Uh, I would say to be a good listener. That's the key. I mean, we've been married about 39 years, and to be a good listener, you know, not to just to accept it and listen. That's my life. Amen. 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 Good listener. Okay, guys? Good listener for all the husbands out there. For the wives? For the wives, please. Um, <coughs> so many. Just pick one, pick one. <laughs> pick one, that's all. Don't put that there, do this like a mother. So just let them be. And then at the end, you said, you did it again. <laughs> <laughs> so in a nice way, right? Because at the beginning of the marriage, you're always saying like, go do this. why did you do this again? And then after 38 years, it's like, okay, you know what? But at the end of the day, I'm like, you did it again. <laughs> so just, just be cool about things, just be cool about things. In other words, don't try to control your husbands. That's what she's saying, okay? Let them be. Because at the end of the day, they're still going to do what the wife wanted to do. <laughs> I'll translate. Don't translate from my father. To understand that our wives are a gift of God or from God. And to always pray for your wives. To be grateful and thankful to God for the life of your wife and to be your companion in every moment. Amen. Amen. Okay, Arlena. See, si, yes. Unless you want to speak, no? No, okay. Okay. I want to tell all the wives here, always respect your husbands. Admire your husbands and thank them because they're, they're also a gift from God to us. So do never go to bed fighting because there's always going to be differences, especially at the beginning. The, 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 I guess the minister that married us said so don't go to bed fighting. And the Bible says, don't let the sun set over your anger. In other words, don't let these root of bitterness come into your heart. Communicate with your husband. That is a good thing. Amen. Patience. <laughs> So, have, you're saying to the wives, have patience with your husbands? Yes, have lots of patience and know that, um, <laughs> I mean, there's more, there's more options, but I think patience is one of the ones that probably I need to work on, <laughs> but it's good to have. We've been married for 12 years and there's sometimes where I'm just very like, oh, because of the kids, are, you know, I'm already at my level, so I just need to work on my patience. So, uh, yeah, patience, I would say. 
<laughs> so he said, <laughs> one, we're the men. What, what, what advice do you have for the like, guys? The biggest advice I have is the wife comes second. First, seek Jesus and, and become, seek to become like him. And everything else will not be easier, but it will flow a lot better. Amen, yeah. The best advice for men, and you have to listen to me, this is very important. Tell your wife how much you love her. Tell her how much she's beautiful. You know, she can never get tired of hearing it, especially from your husband, from her husband. So compliment her. You know, we've been married for 29, 29 years, and uh, I actually love my wife more now than I used to, which is pretty amazing. But, you know, I have to remind myself, I love you, dear. You're beautiful. <laughs> I'll do anything for you. <laughs> Um, my word of advice for uh, wives, and I would say pay very close attention also, is do not deprive your husband of sex. <laughs> yes, I have said that. Thank you. Yes. Sex is, is uh, d designed by God. It's God's idea. It's a blessing in marriage. And there are blessings for everybody in this. And I would say never, ever, ever, never use sex as leverage. That is forbidden ground. That's something that I have never done. Like That's something that we have not done in our marriage. And you know, you don't want to open the door for the enemy to tempt your husband. So you know, work out the differences and celebrate the gift of matrimony, the gift of marriage. Amen. Uh, uh, I've been married over five years. I may look like I'm 18, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my one advice is uh, don't change your wife, or you, you can't change your wife. <laughs> Ariel, do you want Ariel? Do you want to come up? Come, Ariel, let Ariel, Ariel come. Let Ariel come. She has the other side of the story too. Come on, Ariel. <laughs> Thank you guys. 